Welcome to Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. This week is part one of a two-part series covering the happenings at Android Developer Summit 2021. Today, we're going to be talking about privacy and security, large screens, and Android 12. A key theme of ADS was privacy and security. Sarah and Yassine provided guidelines and best practices on how to build apps that are private by design, while covering new privacy features in Android 12 and previewing upcoming Android concepts. They also talked about the memory safety tools that became available starting in Android 11 and have continued to evolve in Android 12. These tools can help address memory bugs and improve the quality and security of your application. I wrote an article covering the new privacy dashboard, which gives users a timeline view of apps that have accessed location, microphone, and camera within the past 24 hours. Users can determine exactly when the access occurred, and they have the option to revoke permissions. The article also covered using data access auditing APIs to track data access within your apps, and the permission intent API to present justifications to users. Lillian presented a selection of the most unusual, intricate, and interesting security issues addressed in the last year. Developers and researchers are available to contribute to the security of the Android platform by submitting to the Android Vulnerability Rewards Program. Tina then went over how the new data safety section will give you a simple way to showcase your app's overall safety. It gives you a place to give users deeper insight into your app's privacy and security practices and explains the data in your app may collect and why, all before users install. Large screens are the fastest growing segment of active Android devices, with over 250 million active large screen devices running Android. So make sure to tune into the following talks to learn more about adapting to larger form factors. Clara and Daniel talked about the state of the ecosystem, focusing on new design guidance, APIs, and tools to help developers make the most of their UI on different screen sizes. They covered the new window size classes, updating existing apps with views, Jetpack Compose for all screen sizes, new Android Studio tooling, and how to test apps on different devices of various sizes, all while tying back to updated material design guidance for layouts. Emily and Andre introduced new features focused specifically on making apps look great on large screens, foldables, and Chrome OS. They took a deep dive into the Jetpack Window Manager library to see how to react to foldable posture changes, work with window dimensions, and easily support multi-pane layouts. Emily explained how to handle common keyboard and mouse input events and how to get started with more advanced support, like keyboard shortcuts, low latency styluses, MIDI, and more. Francesco and Will from Zoom explored new user experiences made possible by the foldable form factor, focusing on video conferencing and media applications. They cover how to handle posture changes with Jetpack's Window Manager API and constraint layout, together with some best practices to handle video and camera streams. Google recently launched new material guidance for supporting large screens. In this talk, Liam and Jonathan talked about how to design and test Android applications that look and feel great across device types and screen sizes, from tablets to foldables to Chrome OS. They covered the fundamentals of how to fit content to these varying screens, introduce canonical layouts as a starting point for designs, show how to leverage foldables, and give tips on how to structure apps using the principles of responsive UI. Dave wrote a post covering the developer preview of 12L, a feature drop that makes Android 12 even better on large screens. With the preview, you can try the new large screen features to optimize your apps and let us know your feedback. 12L includes a refined UI on large screens across notifications, quick settings, lock screen, overview, home screen, and more. The new taskbar on large screen makes multitasking more robust and intuitive allowing users to instantly switch to favorite apps on the fly. Learn more about 12L in the blog post. Android 12 enabled developers to take advantage of a range of new experiences, from people-centric UI to stronger user protection. 
Check out the following post to learn about what's new in Android 12. Zong Min talked about text recognition v2 and pose detection, recently released features in MLKit. These advanced turnkey APIs are built on top of best-in-class models and pipelines. You'll learn what's behind these APIs to help you understand on-device machine learning basics and how to make their usage more efficient. Research shows us that when users get a new device, they are frustrated if they have to sign into their favorite apps again and are even more disappointed if they lose data. For app developers, this can mean lower user retention and poor Play Store ratings. In this talk, Martin and Ruslan explore the benefits of transferring users' data to a device using Backup and Restore to achieve that in a simple and secure way. They also looked at the interesting new capabilities and significant changes introduced to Backup and Restore in Android 12. Ksenia and Slava covered new Android 12 features and changes. They shared tools and techniques to ensure that apps are compatible with the next Android release and users can take advantage of new features along with success stories from app developers. Learn principles to craft great experiences for novice internet users from Renal and Amrith. They highlighted the gap between nascent and tech-savvy user segments, suggesting strategies to improve the overall user experience. Factors like low functional literacy, being multilingual by default, being less digitally confident, and having no prior internet experience brings the need to rethink the way we build apps for these users. That's it for this time with privacy and security, large screens, and Android 12L. Come back next week for the second installment from the Android Developer Summit.